this is the dataflow diagram of, uh, of an online ordering system of a restaurant. So during the system analysis phase of SDLC, uh, to understand the system requirements, analysts, uh, they use different modeling tools and techniques uh, such as data flow diagram. Basically, data flow diagram is a is derived from functional decomposition diagram. It is a visual representation of how the system stores, processes, and transforms data. Um, this helps analysts to understand the processes or the system's flow of data. So, you know, they could improvise if there's some weakness. Uh, and it's basically for their own understanding uh, to see how the data is flowing in the system. Uh, so data flow diagram shows how the data moves, uh, but it does not show any program logic or, uh, you know, processing steps. A uh, set of data flow diagrams show what the system does, uh, but it does not show how it how how it does it. Um, so here in this data flow diagram of the online ordering system, a customer places an order uh, through the online ordering system. So if the system accepts the order, it goes to the restaurant and it creates a kitchen order ticket uh, and then the customer makes the payment to the online ordering system the system generates the payment confirmation uh, which is shown with this you know arrow uh, and then it goes back to the customer and at the same time the restaurant also uh, you know creates this food tracker uh, and feeds back to the system so that the customer can see the progress of the food preparation. And then here, uh, the data flow diagram shows that the, the payment would be processed uh, at the end to the bank. You know, so this is the context diagram. Uh, so it's kind of like a general view of what the system does uh, and then from here we can dive into more for each business processes for the online ordering system.